The brain's been acting like an only child a long time. For a long time, the brain's been making imaginary friends alone in its room, a very cluttered room. I mean, what is consciousness but its content, right? A bunch of voices in a room, a very cluttered room. He isn't actually alone. The brain has an older brother, older, old, the oldest living non-thing in existence. It is all it is. And Brain wants to be its older brother, not be like, be. So Brain arrogantly imitates, while he does not actually listen to older brother. This creates conflict. The two are in conflict. This is not a power struggle, however. For older brother, is passive. Subtle. Present and subtle. As subtle as it is tenacious. Oh yes! Older brother's always there. Looking, not acting, or it's acting is it's looking. Or sometimes it's even speaking. We'll call this inspiration. Divine illumination. You tell me what you call that. So brain goes around acting like it is that which is seen, perceiving, trying to convince. That it is that which is your attention. The brain's actually a bystander. I want to be. Silently, lovingly, longingly, and not so silently. Mouthing the words of the great performer that is older brother. Older brother performing the divine dance that is your self-awareness. That is your awareness. That is the real you. Now, having said all this, having said too much, really, please excuse me. I must go now. I must clean my room.